Hello everybody, I am Neon Icy Wings, and we are once again continuing our adventures in Final Fantasy XV with the Prompto DLC episode. And yeah, last time we played the episode Gladio, and it only had the episode Gladio for whatever reason. And then after the update happened, then episode Prompto finally appeared, but I don't really get it because I'm fairly certain that the... Uh, because, like, most of the stuff on my PlayStation should have, like, automatic updates. And I downloaded Episode Prompto and the Assassin's Festival, which I'll play next after this, just to see what it has to offer. Probably won't record it because uh, the Chocobo Festival didn't have all that much to it as well. But yeah, I have no idea why the updates, like... The only thing I can imagine is... I had the uh, enough updates where Episode Gladio was compatible, but even though I downloaded and installed Episode Prompto, for whatever reason, Final Fantasy XV just wasn't updating, and uh, that's why the update was actually 15 gigabytes for me. But without further ado, let us move on to Episode Prompto and see just how Metal Gear this is, because I heard this is stealthy Metal Gear action. And of course, this will happen after the uh, after the part where. Uh... Hmm. Nice. I forgot that they have their own little things. Intensive training, haha. <laughs> but uh, uh, this should take place right after the part where Pronto gets pushed off the train because uh, because uh, Arden uh, disguised himself as Prompto and Prompto as. Arden to just mess with uh, poor Prompto's mind. A schism splits the royal retinue. Uh, retin? I, I could never get that one right. When Noctis is inadvertently pushes Prompto from atop a speeding freight liner, seemingly betrayed by his best friend, Prompto suppresses feelings of sadness and trudges through the snow in search of answers. But will he get into dog sledding? Also inadvertently. He did it on purpose. He just didn't mean to push Prompto off. It's like shooting the killer clown only for it to appear to be your friend Dave. <laughs> Where'd he get the clothes? And I'm sorry, this looks like a PlayStation 3 game right now. I'm horribly sorry, but... Up until that moment, right there, kind of looked like a PlayStation 3 game. Several days later... You have frostbite on your frostbite. Come on, man, run. Get energy going. I can't even look behind me. They probably didn't render a world behind me. What is with these spires, is my question right now. Where even are we? Why does the snow texture look worse than Skyrim's? Overly long walking. Overly long walking. No, what? We don't even know anything. He's like, no, I don't want to freeze to death. You've been doing this for days, man. But yeah, the still overly long walking. 
Not to mention the constant stop. Overly long walking, finally something happened. And this is the Joker's true origin story. There's nothing to do, there's nothing to talk about. I get it, it's just like, emotions, we know how this is going to end. If you wanted us to feel emotions and be like, what if Prompto dies out there? You should have put it in the main game! <laughs> Seriously, this is the main problem with, uh... What a way to go. Yeah, in a DLC episode. How long was that? Like, uh... Quite a few minutes of just walking. Raised in a common Lucian household, the often despondent Prompto enjoyed little familiarity with his adap adoptive parents. A chance encounter with the Crown Prince Noctis inspired a change of heart. He began to better himself in order to impress and ultimately befriend his royal classmate. My whole life, all I ever wanted was friends. But no one ever wanted me back. So Creepy. when I finally found people who did want me, I did everything I could to make them stay. Does that sound like Prompto? And ever since then, I've lived my life in fear. that one day they'd find out who I really was and they wouldn't want me anymore. Now we finally see what it was from his point of view. Your barcode is showing. <laughs> it's gone. What is? What is? What? What is this place? I have no idea. Research log here, 722, day 189. Well, considering I don't know what year it is supposed to be, I don't know. ...performance by leaps and bounds. Outfit the troopers with Magitech cores. Preliminary tests suggest sublimating demons for fuel will result in an unstable infantry unfit for the field. If the calculations he provided are correct, though, this could solve all our problems. The Deathless Project marks the advent of a new age. No longer will our soldiers fall on the field of battle. The Empire shall rise, and soon all the world shall bask in our glory. <sighs> Creepy. Also, how are these logs compatible with your phone? Yeah, just a second.
Respect. Ah, more. What does it actually look like? I want to look. It's just a paper. Oh, it is just a paper. A new hope. Construction finished today on the first Magitech production facility. Raising military star and leading authority on Magitech versatile. Versithia? I don't know. Has been selected to oversee the plant's operation. Reports say Basathea will relinquish his field duties in order to serve at the compound full time. Well, obviously, we're not done looking around if that's the button. Ah. At first, like, is that just a cabinet? No, it's a different way to go. If I can go up here, I expect things. Yes, sorry for the stomping, just I'm trying a different way of recording for best optimality. What? Check? Oh. I was very far away away, but okay, okay. Scanning production code. Huh? Unit 0595323, confirmed. Warning. This unit has been compromised. What's going on? Initiating retrieval of compromised units. She still remembers you after all these years. You. Weird. What gives? We can't have you spilling blood here. Although to most, this compound is known only as the first Magitech production facility. Birthplace of the myriad Magitech troopers and demons the Empire holds dear. To you, this place should have some sentimental value. After all, it is your home, sweet home. Shut up. I'm not the one who almost killed you. You're up. You really ought to take a rest. Perhaps the estimable Chief Pasithia will help heal that broken heart of yours. Who the hell is that? Your dear oh, how father. Quickly forget. But fear not. I've no doubt a reunion would refresh your memory. Probably not. Well, at least now we have a gun. I'm gonna find them. Wherever they are. Oh, I have a... I have a... <laughs> I have a little sword. Let's see. Alright, bring back the controls. So I can... I ducked somehow. Bring back controls, please. I can fire with R1. I think I have unlimited ammo. Bullet hearts, yeah. So I guess. This is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Especially considering that you can't aim. At least I don't think you can. Weird music, too. <laughs> vending machine. <laughs> Prompto rests at vending machines. <laughs> this amuses me greatly for some reason. Let's see how well 
Imperial soldiers are patrolling the area. Equip the handgun, then shoot them. Uh, shoot at them with R1. The handgun will never run out of ammo, so fire away. These guys do not go down. Ow. Switch from range to melee. I did because it does more damage than the piddly little gun. Maybe there's bullet drop off, but at the same time, why get close? It's a gun. Still want to know where he got this outfit from. He fell off the stinking train. Shit. Was he telling the truth about this place? Approach an enemy undetected me. to deliver a stealth kill. Okay. Just break his neck. A stealth uh, kill Imperial to steal their weapons. Ooh. Oh, I can aim. Why can't I aim with my handgun? Oh well. Ooh. Thingy. Research log here, 722, day 339. Another day, another mental breakdown. All my tests so far have resulted in the former soldiers suffering ego deaths. Today, however, I developed a new hypothesis. I will continue to sublimate demonified humans to harvest the miasma. But if a sense of self is the source of these snags, why not inject infants with the plasmodia instead? <sighs> We've little time. If we are to combat the Lucian threat, we must explore new options. Lucian threat. I will set aside my personal misgivings and do what I must for the Empire. <laughs> what kind of a maniac experiments on kids? Who knows? Any items over here? No. Then up we go. Everything about this place gives me the creeps. Enemies are temporarily incapacitated. Capitalize on something to land a powerful strike. Press E to deliver devastating crack shot. Why can't he pick up the weapons off the ground? Perform a uh, dodge roll. Mm -hmm. Cover base mechanics! Oh, there's the ammo count. Gotcha. At least there's no reloading. That's kind of nice. I can do this. Huh. Pretty quick in between, um... Uh... Save stations, isn't it? Four enemies. Oh no! How terrible. Well, yeah, four enemies. No, six enemies. Something like that. Four to six enemies. Oh no! They can't handle that.
Hmm. Bring it on. What the hell? I changed my oi camera. I'm all out. Well then go back and get some more. Steal uh, stray weapons strewn about the facility for extra firepower. Camera. Ooh. Get out of here. Just... Get out of here. Oh, overkill. <laughs> ah, Leon Kennedy would be proud. Overkill. Now this one is actually pretty fun. It still has kind of the base gameplay, but it's doing it in an interesting way. <laughs> uh, ready your recoilless rifle. Camera. I'm taking this. When a game gives you a bazooka, you take the bazooka. No, I'm keeping my bazooka. And now comes a moment where I can potentially get through by stealthing. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Ready your sniper rifle by holding till the aim. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Stuff kill. Snatched. Ha 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 ha. I guess I can blow the guards away. Nope. I love the variety of weapons it's giving you. Or giving me. <laughs> These guards are really oblivious to the needs of their fellow man. Oh. Get rid of him. And here I thought this would actually be a bit difficult. <laughs> You're just like, oh, a sniper rifle shot will bring them to me. Actually, no, they are oblivious as crap. Not that I'm complaining too much. Yeah, it's probably best to go with this just because... Well... Best not to risk it. Target detected. Eliminate immediately. Pick up the gun. Elimination of compromised unit. I was shooting those dudes. Never miss. Whatever you say, Prompto. Kick 
You know, it's my duty. Haha. <laughs> Goodbye. Why can't Prompto get like now this basically confirms that it's never going to actually go the route of uh I've just gotta find my way out. Like, it's never gonna actually- it's not gonna go the route of, Ooh, when you switch to characters in the main game, they'll play like they do in their own side episodes, purely because they're not going to have these guns in the normal, uh, the normal game. I can't destroy the box. Or can I? Well, I guess let's continue on. Open us away. Here I thought this would be more stealthy. Well, I guess there's two doors? Or does this lead to a new place? Well, it led me to an item, so goody. High potion. Yay. Elixir. Yay. Uh, time to go. Right, did I see a light or well, yeah, it was just a wall. Now we really are Metal Gear soliding it. It's so cold. Yeah, I was wondering, can I jump up there? Nope. There's a gate. Or fence, whatever. What do we do? We'll let them go outside, and then we'll make them come back in again to make them think that things are different. Prototype numbering instructions. In order to better monitor the large gr number of new Magitex models entering production, the Imperial Defense Council motions to reform the coding system as follows. Troops, troopers, five-digit model number. Invents four-digit production year. Oh, troopers, five-digit model number plus eight-digit production code. Invents four-digit production year plus eight-digit production code. We, we've all got the same barcodes. What are you doing, Prompto? That was weird. This revelation. It... It twisted him to his core, and he started dancing a jig while holding his gun out. Oh. That was a new one. Luckily, they don't fail you for pressing the wrong button because I was like, oh, uh, that's probably going to be one of these buttons. Like, nope, it's actually one of the triggers. Target detected. Eliminate immediately. Commence elimination of compromised unit. Get out of here. Tell me that's a bazooka. Ah, this is even better. Get out of here. I don't need my crack shot ability to be a crack shot. Oh boy, Chargy Boys.
Did they just not see me? These dudes are blind as all hell. Crack shot. Get out of here. Still don't understand why the camera freaks out so much. I'm right here. And they just, uh... Overkill! Sorry. Oh boy. Uh, might you... Please get out of here. Get out of here. Ow. These guys aren't actually that hard to take out. Unless they're standing still in which they're invulnerable. Crack shot. Kick him in the head. But I find it hilarious that, uh, I'm just standing there, they run past me. I guess they expected you to run forward? Get out of here. Not really. <laughs> they were actually quite easy, and this is normal. I'm far more used to dying quite frequently in Metal Gear Solid to fail to you. Especially with AI like this. <laughs> Lucky me. You can always jump off the cliff, you know. Where'd the sound go? <laughs> He's like, lucky me, run down corridor, sound stops. What the hell am I? A bastard. <sighs> How could he do that? Who? What? I can't free your brother in. Nope, bulletproof glass. Who would have thought of that? Termination report. Attention research chief Vestel Vestelia. The following specimens have been eradicated. All 23 samples listed have been incinerated to avoid potential de demification of personnel. Was I the one that got away? Is somebody in there? <laughs> oh. Deep breaths. Release the subjects. My friend, do you recall the child who was stolen from this facility? <sighs> the one those Lucians absconded with? Precisely. I thought you might like to see the fine young man he's become these twenty odd years later. So as thanks for bringing your pets to insomnia, I've brought the boy to you. The time has come to meet your maker. Any questions for Daddy Dearest? Father and son. Oh, how I love bringing families <laughs> together. No, it's not true. You're wrong, damn it! 
I'll be sensible and not waste ammo on a window. <laughs> Diamond Weapon Report. Attention, His Imperial Majesty Ledolis Aldercraft. It is with great pride I inform you, Radiance, that your Radiance, that the development has finished on the new Daemon armor. Codename Diamond Weapon. I encourage your Radiance to visit the first production facility at your Radiance's earliest convenience. I am most confident the final product will prove to your Radiance's liking. Vestel Bestia, Chief of Magitech Research. What he says. This place will never be my home. My home is in Lucis. Research log year 756, day 98. Finally, my demon-infused Magitek armor is complete. I have christened my creation Diamond Weapon. It has exhibited an extremely unstable psyche, immediately unleashing unmitigated horrors upon activation. Destructive capabilities, however, are indeed beyond compare. Not even the impenetrable insomnia could withstand its onslaught. <laughs> Where the crowd city would fall in a mere matter of minutes, the Stone of Legend will soon to think that in less than a month's time, the crystal will be mine to play with as I please. So he's the one behind the attack on Insomnia. He planned the whole thing. Gee. Lost that day. That would have been it's nice to know in the man star. Still find it hilarious. Just sit next to a vending machine. Eat some crackers. Mope. 